Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn how to migrate from our Angular 14 to Angular 15 version. I have explained all about Angular 15 and its features in our previous video. I will post the link in the description. Please watch that for your Angular 15 new features. Let me quickly jump into command prompt and install our Angular 15 in our global system. So let me use a command npm install minus g at the rate angular slash cli so this will be picking up the latest stable version and the latest stable version is angular 15 let me hit enter it takes some time to install this and once it is installed we can check the version of angular we got one error because we have to use a sudo command as it is mac system so let me use sudo npm install minus g at the rate angular slash cli it will install our latest stable version and it's asking a password for me let me enter my system password and hit enter so now it started installing and now it is installed with 26 packages and let me clear this off and check the version ng space v enter will give you the version of angular and you can see i am using angular cli of 15 and node with 16 package manager that is 8.11 and it is 64 bit system so now all has been installed with 15 now i have the capability to use angular cli 15 on my system let me quickly jump into visual studio code and now here it is in angular 14 you can check in the package json the package json is pointing to angular 14 now what we will do is we will upgrade this with angular 15 let me go to the browser and you can see here i am using update.angular.io where it will give you all the commands for the version migration from 14 to 15 here is the guide we can use this for our upgradations so you can see this make sure that you are using a supported version of node.js that is 14.20.x or 16.13.x or 18.10.x so here my node version is it is having a version of 16 dot and hence we are satisfying this let me click this make sure that you are using a supported version of the typescript as i didn't install the typescript global level so i don't bother about this so let me go to the next one in the application project just run this update command let me copy this update command go to your terminal and hit this so what it will do is it will update our core modules and cli modules to 15 in our package json along with our node modules so it is updating in package json and also it will update few of the files after installing all these packages these packages may take a bit time to install make sure whenever you are running this command you need to be connected to your internet because this will be downloading all your npm packages from the remote now you can see here all my angular modules has been changed with 15.0.1 and after some time it will even install in our node modules so node modules are also updated so let me check what are the changes only package json and package log json has been changed so let me go to the browser again and now this is also done so in angular 15 the angular compiler prefix at the rate k frames in the css with the component scope this means that any typescript code that relies on the keyframes names no longer works in angular 15 so if you are using a keyframe you have to bother about this point and fix it so for now we don't have any at the rate keyframes in our project so let me hit tick mark in your application tsconfig.json enable ivy has been removed this property will not exist in our tsconfig if you go to tsconfig.json just you can check enable ivy so we are not using that property in our com compiler options why because as we discussed in our angular 15 features enabling ivy is not required why because it is pure ivy compiler now it is not having any of the compiler and this ivy compiler has become stable so that's why they have removed enabling the ivy from our angular compiler option from angular 15 now this is also done and make sure to use decorator in base classes with child classes that inherits the constructor and uses the dependency injection such blaze classes should be decorated with either at the rate injectable or at the rate 
directive or the compiler returns here we are not working on the services whenever we are working on the services we will make sure to use this property as usual and whenever you are using control value accessories set disable state is also a part of it with the configuration which are made for our forms module and reactive forms module so these are all not not much needed for us and uh, let me tick this and tick this make sure all act activated route snapshot object have a title property in angular 15 the title property is required property of activated route snapshot and whenever we are discussing about the routes we'll talk about activated route snapshot from angular 15 we have to use a title property over that activated route snapshot that title property will be shown here so let me take this and now if you are if your tests for router outlet break make sure that they don't depend on the instantiation order of corresponding this is only for the testing part i think we can ignore this and this and this and also existing of iframe instances might be have the security sensitive already we know that iframe is not much supportable for anything so we no need to use iframe in angular 15 and there is something called as injector.get i have discussed this injector.get in our previous videos where we can inject any of the we can get any of the instance by using injector class so let me hit this and there is no more much changes here as well it is related to the test cases and using provided in with ng module and injectable and injection token is deprecated so we have removed this ng module provided in property so let me remove this using provided in colon any for an injectable or injection token is deprecated again this also has been deprecated we will see by creating one particular service whenever we are working on the services and also updated instances of the router link with the href directive to use router link directive that means the router link with the href directive is deprecated so we are not using router link with href directive we can use directly use uh, router link let me select this one after you update your application to 15 just we can run that and check it so let me hit this one also we have covered all the points for our medium application and go to the terminal and hit ng space serve and hit enter so now you can see that there is some problem module build failed that means ng tools has not been updated properly why let's check that ivy.index emit attempted before angular webpack plugin initialization failed to initialize angular compilation the angular compile requires the typescript of this one so what is the typescript let's go here into packages and check my typescript version so it is using 4.6.4 but now we want greater than 4.8.2 and less than 4.9.0 okay so let's go and install our TypeScript with that version directly by installing npm install TypeScript with a version of 4.8.2 and let me use a force because my terminal having some problem so I'm using minus minus force and you don't need to use it and also it is coming under dev dependencies so let me use a property called as hyphen D so it comes under the dev dependencies let me hit enter and it will take some time to install and now the installation is done you can check here 4.8.2 and now let me use ng serve now it has been compiled successfully let me go to the browser go to the new tab and use localhost 4200 you can see the one which i have used in my html so if you go to the app.component.html you have this input so let me remove this and go to the ts and let me remove all this let me just use a paragraph tag like angular version 15 launched and save this go to the browser you can see angular 15 launched so this is how we have upgraded and migrated from our angular 14 to 15 there are no much changes from our side it's very simple to migrate from angular 14 to 15 now the second scenario is let me go into a particular terminal and create a new angular 15 project and see what are the changes came in so this is already we have and let me use git stash and move it to one more branch git checkout minus b v hyphen 15 
and let me check out back git stash pop and let me use this version 15 and now i am in the version 15 and these are the changes which are made to our angular application for moving from one version to another version so let me go to the terminal again and here let me switch to one of the folder and inside the desktop let me create one project that is by using ng new new command and use angular hyphen 15 and hit enter it will ask you some question as of now i don't want routing let me click n and i want to go with scss and you can see angular application is getting installed and some of the files has been removed as, as per my discussion in angular 15 features so now after installing we will see what are the files has been removed and what are the files has been added to our application during the creation of angular 15 project and now it has been successfully initialized let me go here and open it in a new window and let me go to open go to desktop and angular 15 hit open and trust it yeah so if you see here now let's compare both of them so go here and minimize this if you see all are same mostly browser list trc has been removed here in angular 15 and also let me go here and uh, check ts config ts spec json spec json everything is there on a top level but if you go to src you can see the test.ts has been removed and go to src the test.ts has been removed and also polyfills.ts has been removed polyfills has been removed and also there is a removal of environment folder so environment folder has also been removed and let me go to angular.json file and here let me check polyfills so you can see the polyfills has been added into an array instead of creating a separate file for polyfills so here the polyfills are using import zone.js instead of this zone.js and creating a separate file for polyfills he have created one array in your angular.json inside your angular.json just add whatever the polyfills you require so that works as expected and now he also removed test.ts and this test.ts is not needed as of now so we can just use this test.ts this test.ts will work in internally without using this file and this will not have in your boilerplate code so let me go to the app and you can see the app.module.ts component.scss everything and you go here you see the same thing the only difference between these two is creating an angular.json angular 15 has removed most of the configuration files which are not mandatory for our boilerplate code to reduce the chunk for installing and also there is one more thing which we came up that is the commands so let me go into the terminal and use a command for creating a component and already we know about how to create a component in our angular tutorial video please watch that for using command line interface for creating a component so now here i'll use ng generate component and the component name is sample and we have one more option which came in angular 15 that is a new option called as hyphen hyphen stand alone so whenever you hit this component generation by using hyphen hyphen standalone option you will be getting a component that is having a standalone component property in your metadata of component so let me go to sample.component.ts and you can see a property called as standalone component and it is a standalone component and it will not involve in any of the module if you see here it has created all the components but it didn't updated any of the module for example if you use ng generate component with sample 2 as a name and without giving standalone component that will update your app module let me hit this and you can see it has been updated in your app module as well so this is one of the component creation cli command for creating a standalone component in angular 14 this is not there we have to manually go and create this property as standalone colon true value and also you have to use imports with a common module and now this common module also have one of the directive called as src set 
we'll discuss about ng di image directive in our angular 15 which has been introduced and made stable and that we will discuss in our upcoming video this is about newly creation of angular 15 application and also migrating from angular 14 to 15 so these are the advantages and the features which are given by angular 15 there are many more to understand in depth but this is a glance about angular 15 and its features hope you like my explanation if you like my video like share subscribe to my channel for more updates signing off thank you